How you doing? Good and you? Not too bad. The list here is a mile long on things we want to try to get done. Dean Todeshek, he's our superhero. He pretty much built this entire shop. Did you just get here this spring or what? What's... June of 2020. Exciting, absolutely. Hi, I'm Andrew Dalton and this is my story. Now with no one on here, you guys can really take advantage of uh, getting the whole thing done. So the course was um, closed for two seasons. It was purchased in 2019, right before the pandemic. And then they had to brush hog everything down. It was basically after everything was mowed down, we wanted to kind of reclaim it. So we had to grow back the tees, grow back the greens and grow back the fairways. This actually was the original Flint Golf Club. It was uh, nine holes back in early 1900s, 1912, I think. This is my favorite hole, it's uh, number 16. It's our signature hole. It's about 159 yard par three. We built a new tee right here to kind of help out with that one because the, the tees here, the par three tees are pretty small. So that's in our future is to build more teen surface. We renovated the bunkers so they really kind of showcase this hole now. I think Andy's team did a great job. Then behind me, this little island, we're gonna see that with turf type tall fescue. Kersley Creek is right behind me. And the issue we have is when we get significant rain, the creek rises and it's actually gotten up onto that green before. So this is an area that uh, unfortunately is not irrigated. And then eventually we'd like to hit all these non-irrigated areas with a turf type tall fescue. This is the Vredo slit seeder that we purchased. The germination rate with this is about 92%, which is pretty remarkable. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing, I think, once it all uh, germinates and we're mowing it. Talented staff, you, uh, you know, you're know, you pretty confident you can get these things done. We're on the driving range tee. We got Tim Wren and Landon Anders. It's like a family, I would say. Um, I mean, we all get along. That's, I mean, and plus I try to create a fun work environment. I think that's important. You know, people don't like what they're doing, they're not gonna stick around, right? Communication is key. I think if there's a lack of communication, it's easy to uh, you know, get upset or have that animosity. This driving range was built a long, long time ago, and it's short because of, you know, just today's game, technology, golf ball, golf club. So we created this concrete slab that we're gonna put a tee line, an artificial turf tee line down. By extending this tee, we had to find some dirt. Well, when I was at Metamora, we had to build bigger par three tees, and uh, we saved all our aeration plugs. They actually make a pretty good, pretty good base for seed. So the brown building behind me was our existing building. We had to build another 50 by 100 section. Started and completed last year. That's a tough one. I like foreign movies. So I would say uh, maybe City of God, making cheese. I think it's just fascinating. When you experiment with something like cheese, you learn. Keep doing it until you get it right. When you enjoy what you're doing, it's really not work. And I couldn't ask for a more enjoyable job. 